a great great day so let's get started on this tutorial on informatica data quality so the tool that you see in front of you this is what is informatica data quality i'll be jumping into that but before that let me give you a short uh, short uh, definition of what that is informatica data quality idq it's in short it's called as so let's try to see understand compare it with other products that are there in the market and then let, i will give you a demonstration of all the different things that are there so let's get started so all right informatica data quality that's the that's what we are talking about and if i talk about this now a lot of people a lot of people when they think about data quality they get confused they say okay that's very that's crazy stuff because uh, i mean that's complicated you have data stuff frankly speaking data quality looks scary but it's very very easy it's so easy that you can easily understand let's say if i go to a bank all right they have asked me to fill a form and in the form they have given something like phone number so they've given me phone number so what i, I did is i am I'm a, bit, a little bit dumb let's say and i've given my phone number something like this call me plus nine one something like this right so you can easily understand that this is wrong you cannot have this dumb things in your uh, phone number it's not possible and you cannot have area code in the telephone number it should be stored separately so that's the problem that i have all right now the same kind of thing the same thing uh, can happen with any field that can happen with name so when you're collecting the name sometimes the name can be something like this and you can go with a hash dollar so this is wrong hash dollar that's wrong so similarly there can be any kind of issues so the issues basically happen wh while you're collecting the data but whatever the thing is you have a you do have a data quality issue now how to fix that thing now that's what informatica data quality idq does so that's what idq or any data quality tool does so it identifies basically two things it identifies identifies the issue and then it fixes it how does it identify we got many different things to identify many transformation logics to do this thing and how to fix it same thing we create mappings maplets to understand identify we do data profiling as well to identify for the identification process and for the fixes part we create different maplets and mappings right so that's how it's done but that was more of a bit technical now let me um, uh, talk a bit more on the non-technical side then we will jump into the technical one all right now how many players are there in the market they are massive there are many players that are there informatica data quality you talk about then uh, you got trillium data directed you got uh, sap bi data services you just name it there are so all the companies which are selling etl solutions or who are selling integration solutions they have pretty much everyone has their own data quality stuff and i think uh, amazon also comes up with its own data quality if not they will come up so that's i'm sure but anyway that's not the topic so all right, that's the competition and out of many leaders you will see trillium and informatica they lead the market because of ease of use convenience horizontal scaling and a lot of performance and other stuff right so that's what data quality stuff is and if i try to explain it uh, let me just give me one two minute i'll try to explain theoretically what exactly this is so let's say validation this is one part of the data quality and uh, the second part of this thing will be the standardization so standardization and the third one will be the enrichment and the fourth one will be the cleansing so actually you can divide this into further other categories but i think these four categories are actually more than enough now talking about the validation thing so what exactly is validation validation is nothing but it's uh, you just validating uh, the data according to a rule or a standard so let's just say that um, the name so let's say the name so if it has something like this this is invalid because it can, a name cannot have digits is it possible it's not possible name cannot have digits it cannot have characters so this is invalid so right so validation is something valid against a rule you have created a rule and you just validate against it that's quite simple address validation again is one of the most basic examples where you validate the address to see the quality of that right it's very simple now standardization coming to that it is, uh, looks very scary quite a long term but it's very easy to understand what is standardization standardization it's uh, it's a basic set of techniques rules that is used to convert convert the source standard 
to the target standard so what is source standard what is target standard let's say from the source i'm getting the name of the country as ind right for india now the source is storing the data in ind but i don't want to store it in ind i want to store in my database i want to store it in india india the full form so what do i have to do i have to convert something like ind to india so this is what is standardization in this example don't think this is all what standardization is for example i'll take another one so let's say the source is storing the names like sunil so it's in lower cases now let's i would like to convert this thing to uppercase because in my database so in the source it's in lowercase but in my the, the target database or my database the i'm storing it in uppercase so i need to convert that thing to s u n i l in uppercase so this is again standardization right so this was another example of standardization now talking about enrichment enrichment is quite similar you will see to standardization but enrichment means let's say i got an address like hello uh, something like 101 then Las Vegas uh, just uh, take it at 86091 let's say this address is correct let's just assume that is this address is correct so this is fine if the customer is given but uh, let's say the customer has given and this address so you see that the problem what is the problem the problem is HNO 101 right so this is fine 86091 that is fine but the problem is with this thing so what is address and what is address enrichment address enrichment is a process where it will identify that this thing is incorrect right this thing is incorrect this is correct this is correct but this one is incorrect and identifying this thing and fixing this that's what is address enrichment or enrichment in general right now uh, coming to the last one cleansing cleansing is quite easy. So I've got something like uh, Let's say I got something like this So you know that this is incorrect because you cannot have digits or you cannot have characters inside uh, Your name or inside a string. So this is wrong So how do you cleanse it this you just you have a noise these are called as noise you remove those noise using different transformation different techniques So we will see those techniques later, but basically this is what cleansing is so you can see that the whole of the idq i have shown you in just one two minutes basically this is all what it what you do in idq sometimes a bit of complicated stuff also you can do like pulling data from linkedin twitter pinterest stuff like that and then writing data and stuff xml files but it's you know those things this, those are pretty easy right those things i think most of you guys are coming from power center background so you probably know this it's quite easy so all right, guys. So this is what it was theoretically. Now I will show you this tool. So uh, just see here. This is the tool. This is uh, you can say it's quite similar to what you have in Informatica Power Center. So you got something like concept of folders. Then when you go here, then you see here. So you see here, you something see something like uh, physical data objects. So this can be your sources, targets. It's quite simple. Then you got reference tables. So reference tables are just like your uh, reference databases lookup databases so like country what is country it contains list of 240 entries that's quite simple similarly you can create a lot of other reference databases typically a project a whole data quality project uh, relies very heavily on the reference tables because that's the backbone of data quality stuff right and then you can uh, you can see here you can create stuff like the maplets and the mappings so you can see let's say if i show you a maplet so see here uh, input output expression so maplet is just like mini form of a mapping right that's the, the shortest word to describe it i mean uh, a lot of people will not agree with me say that map, maplet is this maplet is that that's right but in short it's like a mini mapping that's right now see and you see the mapping this is how the mapping looks like so all right i am going to show you something that's the matching so i if you remember i talked about that you can match records okay you can match data in informatica data quality that makes uh, this product quite unique so this is how it's done it's done using you can do using this uh, matching so this is the matching uh, transformation that you've got and um, and then you can see here um, this thing then key generated then I've got the match and 
exception deduplication writing to customer is quite simple as well as there are a lot of options just see here um, if I have to add a transformation then see there are many different things as you can see uh, it's basically divided into two parts one is the old school I mean I'm talking about power center transformations so that you know expression you know you know filter it sounds familiar doesn't it then um, the aggregation join up right so this things pretty much you know now apart from that there are new things that you wouldn't have seen earlier so you can see the those things now that is nothing but see address validator so using which you can validate your addresses this is a bit of new then association then you have case converter you can guess what it does and then comparison consolidation which is nothing but the merging all right so merging part and data processor data masking data masking you can guess what it does it masks the data uh, not just full masking you can do partial masking semi masking depends let's say ssn number you don't want to show your ssn number to everyone so that's a data private issue right so then you got decision which is quite uh, quite uh, important in uh, in the data quality stuff because uh, it, it might not be that much important in uh, etl but in data quality it's quite important decision stuff exception um, same old thing then java transformation which is also there it's copy pasted from uh, power center key generator lookup all right most of the things the labeler right and uh, then the match merge normalizer um, i think you know normalizer then rest web service consumer so we have similar concept like uh, this one in power center as well where uh, using the web services hub you can consume different uh, data from different web services uh, and then uh, you can uh, send the response back so that can be done there as well here also the same thing then um, rank read router this uh, pretty much the most of the things are same but a lot of new transformations you will see uh, see try to understand this much so if the transformations might be same as some like say 50 percent these transformations might be same as that of uh, a power center it can be but the objective is different you got it the objective what are we trying to do here we're trying to do data cleansing data quality stuff we are not trying to uh, transform a data we're trying to understand issues in data fix the data this lot of difference this you will understand uh, you, you will understand this uh, really like properly if you have ever faced worst data quality uh, let's say if you joined a project and the data quality is really worst then you can understand the importance of this tool all right now this is one part of this uh, story and then you have like pro profiling yeah the uh, most important thing here is so it's not just a data quality tool it's uh, i mean it is a data quality tool plus we have something called as data profiling so data profiling can be done here so which makes this tool quite unique uh, if you remember earlier there was a tool called as informatica data explorer i'm not sure if you guys have ever worked in that informatica data explorer so that thing is now merged into informatica developer into profiles so you can create profiles scorecards stuff like that uh, what does it do it uh, it's data profiling which helps to understand the quality of data what is data profiling is it's just analyzing the data and then digging deeper what's it what's the issue how uh, let's say let's say the telephone example how will you know that you how many different issues you have got so you can only understand this using the if you pass it through a data quality tool like sorry data profiling tool then you can understand the issues quality right so that's the thing and then the interface is quite simple you can see here a lot of uh, things uh, pretty simple interface uh, nothing uh, different as such I can say so yeah that will be it so just wanted to give you an introduction on of um, uh, introduction on these things you can see here the different mappings and all those stuff we'll talk about this thing in uh, details I will be creating a, a tutorial series on uh, Informatica data quality so and uh, in YouTube so you can check that thing all right, so I am done with this session. Hope I, I hope it was not that boring. Normally I give boring lectures. <laughs> so thanks guys, thanks for watching. And yeah, 
if you really like this video please leave a comment i would really love that if you leave a comment and ex let me know your views your views on informatica data quality or trillium or anything that you have worked how it works and i would love to learn i believe life is all about learning so uh, thanks thanks for watching thanks guys we'll meet up in the next video thank you very much